Hello everyone. Here is another video lesson for today. So again, this is Mr. James Welfronda, your math teacher. Today, what I'm going to discuss is about laws of exponents. Okay, so let's start. So the first law is about the product rule. So by definition, we have that any power raised to an exponent can be simplified by multiplying the two exponents. So in symbols, we have quantity A raised to X raised to Y. And that is equal to quantity or equal to A raised to X times Y. So let's have some examples. So example number one, we simplify quantity P raised to 8 raised to 4. So we simply copy variable P and then multiply the two exponents, which is 8 and 4. So multiply 8 times 4. So that is equal to 32. So our final answer is P raised to 32. Next. Example number 2, quantity m raised to 6 raised to 2. So again, same process, copy the variable and multiply the exponents. So 6 times 2, so that is equal to 12. Okay, how about number 3? So for number 3, quantity n raised to 9 raised to 3. So again, multiply 9 times 3 and that gives us the answer of 27. Last example, number 4, we have quantity r raised to 10 raised to 7. So we copy the variable r, then multiply their exponents, uh, multiply the, the exponents. So we have 10 times 7, so that is equal to 70. Okay, so that is all about the product rule. Next. So the second law is, or the second rule is about the power rule. So by definition, to multiply powers with the same base, use the same base and raise it to the sum of the exponents. So in symbols, we have that quantity A raised to X times A raised to Y is equal to A raised to X plus Y. So as you can see in the definition, we have same base or same variable. So what we're going to do with the exponent is to get its sum. Okay, so let's have some examples. So number one, what is the product of x raised to 4 times x raised to 9? So as you can see, they have the same base, which is letter x. So we're just going to copy x. And then what are we going to do with the exponents? We're just going to add. Okay, so you have here x raised to 4 plus 9. So the sum of that is equal to 13. Okay, so ganyan lang kasimple. Okay, next. For number 2, so you have here three um, terms. So you have well, three variables. So we have a raised to 6 times a raised to 3 times a raised to 7. So as you can see, still, they have the same basis, which is letter A. So you're just going to copy, and then we need to add their exponents. So you have now as A raised to 6 plus 3 plus 7. So 6 plus 3 plus 7 is equal to 16. Okay, and then copy variable a. So our final answer is A raised to 16. Next, for R raised to 9 times R raised to 5 times R raised to 4. So again, same basis, copy R and add their exponents. So you have 9 plus 5 plus 4. So the sum of that is equal to 18. Okay, next, for number 4, so sorry if I that should be number 3. Then example number 4, you have 5 raised to 3. So how about if that is in number? 
Okay, so you're going to do that in expanded form. Okay, so it states here that there are three fives. So you need to have in expanded forms five times five times five. So our answer is equal to 125 because five times five is 25 times five. So that is 125. So that is all about the power rule. So let's proceed to the next rule. So the third rule is about the quotient rule. So it states here, to divide two powers with the same base, use the same base and raise it to the difference of the exponents. In symbols, we have a raised to m over a raised to n, which is equal to a raised to m minus n. So it states here that if you have the same bases, you're just going to subtract their exponents. Okay, to understand better, let's have some examples. Number one, a raised to nine divided by a raised to six. So as you can see, they have the same bases, which is a. So you're just going to copy letter a. Next is to subtract their exponents. So you have nine minus six. So you can write like this. Then what is the difference of nine and six? So you have three. So our final answer here is equal to a raised to three. Next, x raised to six divided by x raised to two. So again, they have the same basis, which is x. So just copy, then subtract six and two. So you can write it as x raised to six minus two. So the answer of six minus two is equal to x raised to four. And lastly, you have x raised to 8, y raised to 6 divided by x raised to 4, and y raised to 4. So again, as you can see, you have same x basis, you have x and y. So you can write x, okay, then raised to 8 minus 4, and then for y, you have y raised to 6 minus 4. Then, by simplifying 8 minus 4, our answer here is x raised to 4. And then for our y, you have 6 minus 4, so our answer is y squared. So therefore, the result of this is equal to x raised to 4, y raised to 2. Okay, so, okay, so I hope that the quotient rule the product rule and the power rule is clear. So we'll continue this lesson in the next video.